Hello friends, I'm Chi, hope you're doing well today. The real story is out from the very mouth of the pilot that flew that particular plane that carried the Super Eagles. Well, let me play guys the video right away so that you hear for yourself what he has to say. Hm, Libya is in trouble, man. Those guys, I don't know what they, they were really up to. I don't know. Well, guys, please like, share, subscribe, tell me your thoughts in the comment section because I'll tell you mine after this video. Let me show you guys the video, okay? Libya yesterday. What was the point of uh, arrival? Uh, the flight plan was uh, to land uh, as destination uh, Benghazi, Benina, but unfortunately, and we got the approval from. Uh, the Libyan Civil Aviation Authority that we are approved to land in Benghazi. But unfortunately, when we start descent, they asked us to divert to uh, Labrag, which is at uh, almost uh, 150 miles, that means 300 kilometers uh, around uh, uh, more far, but it's at the east. So it was, uh, it wasn't uh, our even our alternate, uh, something which is not good, because uh, in aviation we have our flight plan, we calculate the fuel to our destination, so we have to avoid uh, this kind of thing because it may uh, uh, make a breach to uh, safety and. Uh, one, I insist to land in uh, Benghazi according to my flight plan and according to my authorization. They said no, uh, it's uh, from the highest authority. You have to land in uh, Labrag, uh, Al Baida. So well, the, the Libyans are saying that it was your discretion to land in uh, no, 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 no. Everything is. Uh, is re registered in aviation. We cannot, we cannot hide anything. So I asked them several times, at least eight times, and I warned them. Probably I will be in trouble uh, for uh, fuel. They said it's from highest authority. You cannot land in uh, Benghazi. You have to divert immediately to uh, Labrador. Thank God. We uh, make it safely, and we landed safe in uh, the other airport. In the event that your company is asked to provide evidence. All right, guys, you've heard it all for yourself. So the question is this, even when the pilot said eight times he communicated to them, trying to tell them the dangers involved, that the fuel may not uh, take them there, they still said, order from the highest authority, you can imagine. Well, the country is not even at peace. They are still fighting their little, little wars there. So, I don't think they have a real government there. <laughs> Lawless. <laughs> well, risking the life of the super egos, you know. Uh, what if the plane had crashed? Maybe the fuel was not enough and then the plane crashed. You know, all we hear is rest in peace. And maybe the whole thing could have been covered up, you know. Mm -hmm. They could have just rushed and carried a black box and throw it away so that nobody will know what really happened the communication that you know happened between them and the pilot so well mm, thank god that they landed safely but you know they have they, in fact they are not happy none of them there is happy all the footballers they hated what happened even nigeria cannot do that to the libyan players even when they came the other time you know, they were entertained well none of these kind of things happened to them so i don't know whether it's just racist kind of a thing or punishment for winning them in Nigeria, I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys, um, this is just it. I just want to bring you guys the news, what the pilot said that happened. He said the evidence is there. So I think they should sue the Libyan government. Yes, they have to sue them, you know, for risking the life of the players and trying to play games with the whole thing. Alright guys, see you guys later. I'm Chi, like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye, see you guys later.